I only do events like these twice a year. So as you can probably imagine, I get pretty excited when I know I'm about to film a Dog Do Snippet special announcement event. And I've got a good reason to be excited. This is my fourth official announcement event. And in the past three, I've announced awesome things for the Dog Do Snippets channel. Back in the spring of 2012, and I announced my second year anniversary special, which was Dog Do Snippets Live 2012. Last winter, I announced the 2012 Christmas festivities for the channel. And then just... In July, a few months ago, I announced Dog Do Sniffer as a movie, which was incredible. So here we are again, in December. It's Christmas time. What have I got in store for you? Now, I'm sure you've all seen my invite that I sent out a week ago, which depicted snowfall and a snowy scene with some tally marks on. Now, as with my last in invite which had a free on it for the third anniversary it's not hard to work out what i was going to announce there were 10 tally ta uh, sorry there were 10 tally marks on the invite so it's pretty obvious but that's not the only thing i'm announcing so that invite didn't give everything away before i start i'm going to go for a few updates because this is the perfect opportunity to do it i know i've said it before but just in case you didn't watch that particular video I apologise for the lack of my end of time poster on that back wall. It looks empty, I know, but the poster's all crumpled from being down the side of a bed for a few months and I'm flattening it out. So, it'll be up soon. Updates. Where shall we start? Well, how about we start with the day of the Doctor? Wow. I went and saw it last Saturday in the cinema in 3D. It was incredible. I went with Clancy, who some of you know from Block Room, and he also helped with the filming of... The um, Doctor Who Simpson movie back in the summer, he filmed some of the scenes for that, and he's appeared in numerous Doctor Who Snippet live sessions. So uh, I'm sure you probably know him. If not, yeah, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, it was incredible. Um, I know a lot of people who said they had, they didn't understand it, and they also friends they didn't understand it either. I wasn't confused by it the first time, but I definitely, it was definitely worth watching it a second time, and now it makes perfect sense. Um, I'm just going to say now, if you haven't seen it, I don't see why you wouldn't have seen it yet, but just skip the next like five minutes of this video, because I don't want to spoil anything. But we'll, I'm so glad we finally saw, we're finally settled on the regeneration between the 8th Doctor and the ninth Doctor, well, the regenerations. Um, I was so worried they weren't going to show it, and then as soon as John Hurt's hand started going in the TARDIS, I'm like, yes! And even though Christopher Eccleston... Disappointed us all and wasn't in it. I'm glad they at least made the effort to make it look like his face was coming in the regeneration. So that's really good. Uh, seeing Tom Baker, even though I'm sure lots of you know he's not my he's not one of my favourite Doctors. I'm not going into that now, but he's still one of the best Doctors of all time. I've got to admit it. He's just not one of my personal favourites. But seeing that was incredible. It just I I heard rumours about him coming, but seeing him just made the whole thing awesome. It was great to see Tom in it again. Uh, seeing Peter Capaldi was just, oh my god, that moment was awesome. I Oh, I was so excited. Uh, Osgood, that scientist, uh, she's got a sister. I don't know if any rumours have been going around about this, but I, my only theory of this is that she's somehow related to Clara. Um, I, I think she'll make another appearance one day. Uh, that's about it for Dev the Doctor. It was pretty awesome. I've seen some viewing figures, there was something like 10.6 million views in the UK, 3.5 in the US or something, I know 70,000 Australians went to the cinema to see it, so it was pretty successful, and it got a Guinness World Record for world's largest simulcast or something, I can't quite remember. And then that brings me on to the Christmas special nicely, because, da da da, it's called The Time of the Doctor. How annoyed do you think I am after naming my 50th minisode The Time of the Doctor? But anyway, I'm probably I'm planning on changing the name to avoid any copyright complaints or anything to the dawn of the Doctor. Even though the title will still say um, the time of the Doctor on YouTube, will say the dawn of the Doctor. That was one of my working titles, the dawn of the Doctor, and I thought I could change it. And I came up with the time of the Doctor, and I thought it was a really bad name, uh, so, but I went with it, and now it's the name of the Christmas special. So, oh well. But yes, yeah, so that looks good. We all we've now we've heard all these spoilers about the Christmas special, like about Matt Smith, like his doctor regenerating after losing a leg in a battle. Apparently, it's all traumatic, and that 
he is technically the 13th Doctor because of the wasted regeneration in um, Stonenough and Journey's End. And we will finally resolve the riddle of how he can regenerate after his limit of 12 regenerations. And uh, yeah, that's the Christmas special sorted. And obviously we're going to see the 12th Doctor for the first time. And if you go onto the promo image, I'm not sure how many of you know this, if you go onto the promo image that they released, if you go down to the flames by between Clara and the Doctor, you can see Capaldi's face in one of the flames. Uh, try it, it's really cool. Zoom in a bit. Uh, make sure it's a high res image, otherwise it won't work. Uh, also we now know the Daleks, Simon and Silence and Weeping Angels are in the episode, which is the first time they've all appeared together, which is going to be awesome. I knew the Silence would be there at the end of the 11th Doctor. Knew it. Because I remember when Matt Smith, uh, sorry, David Tennant's death was predicted in Planet of the U two years before he left. I remember saying when The Wedding of River Song was about to air, oh, if Matt Smith is really leaving in 2013, hopefully they'll have some reference to it in this episode. It's the last chance because it's two years before. And then it was at the fall of the 11th. I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit carried away here. That's basically what's happening in episodes. I'm sure you know all that. Moving on a bit. Uh, yes, this few weeks ago I released a 50th mini so Little Figure Adventure. Unfortunately it hasn't done too well. I must admit it's nowhere near one of my best. Uh, it was a bit rushed but I'm glad I got it out there and it was just a little, you know, a bit of fun. So uh, The Time of the Doctor which will be, probably be renamed to The Dawn of the Doctor. Go check that out if you haven't already seen it. Uh, it was featuring Paul McGann and it was set before The Night of the Doctor. Uh, what else have we got? Oh yes, I've ordered some stuff. I ordered the 50th anniversary Union Jack Dalek to go with my um, big Daleks up there. Uh, you know, the cool one. That's going to be one of my Christmas presents. I've ordered the other Doctor Sonic Screwdriver for Christmas, maybe. Um, I've ordered oh, the Comic Con Ace, because I thought I missed out on her. But Forbidden Planet International still have her, so I've got her. And I ordered from the BBC shop the Holographic Temp Doctor figure, which was available at the uh, 50th event in London. So uh, I will be getting the 50th, uh, sorry, the 10th Doctor hopefully review next weekend, and uh, maybe the other Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, but Ace and the Dalek are going to be for me at Christmas. I don't know when I'll review them, but I will. Uh, what else has happened? Oh yes, channel updates. Channel updates. Here we go. We recently passed 1,300 subscribers, which is great. This year's been rather slow after my break, but it's getting back there. We're getting back there. So that's cool. That's really good. Uh, we also um, switched over everything to Google+. Plus. You know, that rubbish for YouTube. I personally hate the system. But it's got to be done if I want to comment. But oh well. So you can go follow Google. Uh, Doctor Who Sippers on Google. But I don't know how it works. I'm a techie, but I don't understand Google. Never have. Don't like Google in any way. But um, yeah, that's cool. And what else? Well... That is it for updates. That was a bit rushed. Normally I like putting, uh, like say, 1,300 subscribers and I say it at the bottom. But that was so fast paced. I don't think I will. I think I'll just leave that there. And that was just a general update. Imagine that was a normal update video. Now, on to the announcements. Now, normally I try and announce two things in these videos. Christmas and the summer events. Last Christmas I think I announced two. I know it's free if you include my break, which, don't worry, there's no break for the start of 2014. I'm carrying on as usual. That was a one-off for 2013. Uh, I'm just putting that out there now. Uh, some are announced three things, but I think, no, two things, but only one of them actually happened. Uh, so, oh well. But today, I'm announcing, drumroll, four things for Dog 2 Snickers. The first one. The one you could have worked out from the invite easily, and it fits in with a tradition of the last two years, is the Doctor Who Snippets 10 Days of Christmas 2013. These shall be running from the 16th of December to the 25th of December. And I'm going to do what I did last year. Uh, no Christmas update on Christmas Day. The 10th day will be on the 25th of December, and that will also count as the Christmas update. So that's how it's going to be running. It's going to be the same format as last year. They're going to be short episodes, one a day for ten days. I'll get you guys to send in things and I'll pick the best. I'll bring out more details shortly before the event. So uh, that's going to be running basically the same as all the other years. But you've got that to look forward to. So I will be sending out 
a video at some point where you guys can send in your suggestions for what to do in the video and shout outs and stuff. I think I'll do shout outs again one an episode. And uh, if you aren't familiar with the 10 days of Christmas, go back and watch 2011 and 2012. There are only 20 of them to watch for God's sake. Why not? And uh, yeah, that'll be good. The second thing I'm going to announce today, number two, is uh, something I do every year. And unlike the 10 days of Christmas, this has been done three times already. I'm announcing the end of 2013 update. No surprise there, but it's going to be the exact same format as the last three years, 2010, 2011, 2012. It's an update to summarise the whole year. That's the two. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, brilliant. Yeah, they're happening. Great events. Now for the other two. Now, I'm going to put a bit of time into these two because they're really pretty awesome. You may notice I have a fairly large collection of figures back right there. And three years ago in December, I think it was around Christmas Eve, I did a collection update. And since then, my collection has grown considerably. And they don't live in a box anymore. They live on these shelves. And I've originally promised a collection update in June 2011 as a follow-up. And, I was prom and then that never happened. And I was promising it throughout the summer of 2011 before I went off to my new school, which was a weekly boarding school. And the day before I went, I said I'd do it, but I never got around to it. And ever since then, since September 2011, it's been an ongoing joke where people send me in things saying, when's the collection update? When's this? And like, they will annoy me by writing in the comments, by the way, when's the collection update? Well, I can tell you for certain that the collection update will be on the 15th of December 2013. Promise. This is actually happening now. Some of you big fans may be like, oh my god, seriously? Yes, the collection update will be happening in two weeks time. Certain. Unless I die. That's the only way it couldn't happen. But these guys will be properly put on display for the first time ever for you guys to see. That is the third event of my Christmas festivities. Remember that, 15th of December. Now, the fourth. The fourth. I feel like I've rushed it a bit, but, you know, we're 12 minutes in, so we should really get a move on, to be honest. The fourth is more of less than an... How do I say it? It's not really an announcement. It's a sneak peek slash announcement. Because I've sort of hinted at this before. In fact, I think I've confirmed it to some people. This is a sneak peek of my work in progress. That many of you will probably be surprised there's work in progress on it. You probably think, wow, yeah, no, maybe it'll one day happen, but not so soon. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you a little teaser for what I've got in store for you in the near future. Um, it's very short, and I will make it public in a couple of days, so you don't have to, like, if you want to say it again, you don't have to dig into this video. And all I'm going to say for now, I'll talk about it more when it's over, in about 30 seconds, is it's a follow-up to my most successful video of 2013. So, enjoy it. Here it is. My work in progress. Trainer told me I would see the rise, the fall, and the success, but I've only seen the rise and the fall. Well then, I'll show you the success. So one last question, Dr. Houston admits. Will you keep the channel going forever? <laughs> That's an easy answer. Now seriously, how many of you were actually expecting that? So soon? Just four months after the release of the original Doctor Who Snippets the movie, I'm giving you a trailer for the sequel. It's a teaser trailer. It's a very, very much work in progress. They are literally the only scenes filmed for it so far. What you have seen just there. Doctor Who Snippets the movie 2. It's a working title. It's not going to be called that. It's a bit long. It's going to have a name of some sort. Will be released at some point in 2014. Now, I'm sure lots of you are thinking, oh yeah, it's going to be for the 4th anniversary. 
Don't be surprised if it's not, because I have lots of plans for my fourth anniversary. Don't know if it will be included, but then it could be just shown at some random point of the year. I will of course announce it when it does get shown. So don't go thinking it's going to be released on the 13th of August 2014, because I can tell you now it most likely won't be. That's all I'm saying though. 2014, you've seen a bit of it, and you can basically work out what it's about. It's about the success of Dog Two Snippers rather than the origins of it and how I got to here. This is what the impact has been on my life and subscribers who watch me. It's a very much a more of a connection between me and you guys and there's less of my personal life in it, more of Doctor Who snippets and other ventures I have done such as Block Room. And that is it for this announcement event. So I'm going to give a quick recap of what you guys have to look forward to. You have a couple of reviews coming up in the near future. Um, I'm sure the first will probably be the Temp Doctor holographic figure uh, next weekend, okay? Unless it's done all right. And you've also got the Doctor Who Snippets 10 Days of Christmas to look forward to, which will be going from the 16th to the 25th of December. You've got the collection update. The collection update on the 15th of December. You have the end of 2013 update on the 31st of December. And you have Doctor Who Snippets the Movie Part 2 in 2014. Now I think that's pretty awesome. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, thank you very much for attending this event tonight. Attending. Yeah. You're sitting behind the computer watching me talk. That's attendance in my books. Thank you very much for watching. Should I say it that way? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I can't wait to see you guys again in a review. But these announcement events are my favourite parts of the channel, to be honest. And it sad saddens me that the next one will probably be in the summer holidays. But oh well. Thank you, guys. And I hope you enjoy the stuff I've got planned for you. Bye for now.